The youth theme for this new year is Doctrine and Covenants 64, 33, and 34. Wherefore, be not weary in well-doing, for ye are laying the foundation of a great work. Our message to each of you young women is that the Lord's great work begins first and foremost internally. So begin and continue to take personal ownership of your faith. Learn for yourself not only the reality of and distinct roles of each member of the Godhead, but also your distinct relationship to each of them. Accept their divine love for you. Allow Christ to be the primary source of your self-esteem, your perspective, direction, your comfort, your resilience, and your hope. Understand how you do that. Know for yourself why His established church organization is a vital part of this process. There is lots of valid chaos, uncertainty, and overwhelming stress in most of our lives right now. Don't wait for your temporal life to be in order before you focus on the spiritual. We promise that the Lord will be the precise component that enables you to get all aspects of your life under control. Our New Youth Guidebook gives us a looping, effective pattern for this internal work— discovering, planning, acting, and reflecting. Use this pattern. Questions and answers are a large part of the pattern. It was said of Joseph Smith that he was a master asker. Become one of those. Seek to definely understand through personal revelation your distinct purposes. What's your why? Can you define that for yourself? Reflect on what you're learning and experiencing, and especially reflect on the questions that God has for you. The author Michael Wilcox said, Perhaps one of the grand truths, one of the sublime secrets of fulfilled living, is that God has questions for us, and we must wrestle not only to receive answers from Him, but to give them to Him. How we answer those questions tells our Father in Heaven much about us and helps reveal ourselves to ourselves." End quote. We challenge you to set a goal to study the scriptures, looking for the specific question the Lord asks, and then look within yourself for how you answer them. In addition, over the next couple of months on our youth Instagram page, we will periodically be posting anonymous questions received directly from the youth in our stake. We encourage all the young women and young men not only to submit questions, but also to actively participate in helping to answer your peers' questions. Be instruments in the Lord's hands in this way. We need each of you lovely young women. We want each of you. Allow Christ to show you this. Our hearts ache for those of you who have not or do not feel this. We can all do better, but we see you and we want to hear you. We want each of the young women in our state to stand confidently assured that you belong in God's kingdom and divinely understand why you're essential. You might not think you're a perfect fit, but none of us are. Thankfully, we don't have to be a perfect fit in order to perfectly belong. So bring your unique vibrancy of perspectives, talents, and experiences. Bring your struggles, your quirks, your insecurities, heartaches, and uncertainties. Bring whatever knowledge and testimony you do have. Just bring your whole self. Connect and engage with your leaders. Give yourself time to do that. Foster and nurture relationships with your family, peers, and those in your Young Woman organization. Staying linked in these ways can provide vital support, accountability, and validation. We promise you there is joy to be found, even right now. And as we work together, not to try and fix each other, but to build upon eternal truths. We can learn from each other, teach each other, and support each other in our personal great work of walking with Christ to the tree of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.